All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is just going to be a quick little video on my plans for the Jelande 2 from RC Four Wheel Drive. Now, as you know, this is a hard body shell, so it's not the traditional Lexan shell that you would find on most RC cars. So, uh, with that, you do need a little bit different paint uh, to make this whole thing work. And, you know, I searched online, uh, you know, throughout lots of forums and everything. I was trying to find out, you know, what's the exact right thing to use uh, to paint a hard body. Because, to be honest, this is my first hard body that I'm planning on uh, doing here at the RC Network. So everything uh, before this has always been Lexan or, uh, you know, the kind of flexible plastic uh, that you can't u really use traditional spray paint on. So um, with this... Uh, let me show you what I've used in the past, and uh, there's uh, various amounts of different um, paints that I've used in the past. Tamiya, they have their PS line of uh, spray paint, which is basically for the flexible plastic or polycarbonate shells uh, that you see on lots of different RC cars. Now, of course, there is the, the spastic line. Uh, they have a whole series for polycarbonate as well, and also Pactra. Uh, from testers also has their um, RC car paint. So lots of different ones out there that you can choose from for um, traditional RCs that use that kind of flexible plastic. Now with a hard body shell, you don't need that. You just need something that's going to adhere to plastic. Um, doesn't have to have the flexible characteristics. And the other weird thing on hard shells, you're going to be painting on the outside of the shell uh, versus the inside. So, um, you know, I went to a local hardware store and I picked up some of this stuff. Uh, this is just from Valspar. It's a plastic paint. Um, I was planning on using this stuff, but then I started thinking about this. I think this paint was, you know, I think four bucks, five bucks, right in that, that range. That's a hundred dollar hard shell that you're looking at there if I had to replace it. Now, with that, I just wanted to make sure I'm using the right paint. So I went to my local hobby shop and picked up an array of different uh, Tamiya paint. And what you're going to notice, it's a little bit different. This is actually model paint, and it's a TS line of paint. And it's basically for plastics. And you'll see right there, basically says for plastics. Versus... The other one here, the Tamiya, this is for polycarbonate. So that's the big difference. Um, I was kind of searching for that. I want to give my viewers uh, some good information, so to speak. Um, as far as my color choice, uh, the main color on the vehicle is going to be this Olive Drab 2 from Tamiya. And that's the little color right there. So pretty cool, kind of military-esque uh, type color. That's going to go on the majority of the body. You'll see here I got the white, um, and this is just a matte white, so it's not going to have the gloss to it. That's going to be for the top. I'm going to kind of paint it kind of uh, uh, 70s Bronco-esque, so uh, that'll definitely be cool. I also picked up some matte black, and you'll see there to me as well. That's going to go on the wheel fenders and maybe a couple other parts. I haven't really decided on that one. And you'll notice that the olive drab was not a matte finish. So I did pick up some of this stuff and this is just basically a spray lacquer that is a clear coat but it's actually a dull coat. So it's going to dull the finish of the actual paint and make it a little less shiny, a little bit more matte or flat. So kind of going to kind of go for with a uh, somewhat of a military theme here and kind of go from there. So I'm definitely known for changing my mind halfway through the painting session and this thing will definitely take a few days to paint up. So um, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video and got some good information from it. Um, if you have any questions about the paint I used or how I'm going to paint it up, uh, there will be other videos that in this series from the Jelande 2 uh, from RC4 Wheel Drive. So stay tuned. Uh, any questions, please post them down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.